is 9 p.m. in RTD. It's time to English New Edition for tonight's headlines. So we have uh, the Ministry of uh, Culture and UNESCO has uh, launched the officials of the process of developing policy of national cultures uh, concerning for international scene. Russia and Turkey claim to cooperate in settlement of Syrian conflict. Uh, Welcome to our newsroom. Uh, the Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed uh, on Thursday this morning uh, sponsored the inauguration ceremony of uh, domestic flights of the company Air Djibouti to the tourist towns of Obok. It is at the head of a strong delegation that the Prime Minister went to this Thursday morning to Obok about the inaugural flight uh, of uh, future domestic services to these uh, two tourist uh, cities uh, whose uh, lunch is scheduled for next uh, 21, 31 January. The delegations accompanied the Prime Ministers during this inauguration ceremony organized uh, by the National Airlines. Air Djibouti was composed of several members of the government including the Minister of Interior, Hassan Omar Mohammed, the Minister of uh, Defense, Ali Hassan uh, Bahadun, the Minister of Transport, uh, Mohammed um, Abdul Ghadir Musa Halam, uh, the Minister Delegate for Decentralization, Mr. the Secretary of State for Youth and Sport, and the Mediators of the Republic, uh, General Officers of the Army Forces, uh, Land and Air Sea, including General uh, Zakaria Sheikh Ibrahim, Director General of the Police uh, from the Mayors of uh, Djibouti City representative of the United Nations system, as well as the manager, the managing directors of several companies, including the general directors of the airport, uh, as well as uh, the CEO of the Air Djibouti, Abdurrahman Abdi. All this uh, beautiful took place about three aircraft types, uh, Y-12 Air Djibouti, with a capacity of uh, 15 seats uh, each. Uh, in Obok, Mr. Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed indicated in his intervention this, the advantages uh, of uh, this uh, domestic uh, service of three flights per week, which will uh, reduce the travel times of our fellow citizens uh, tour Obok and encourage uh, internal tourism as well as investment by facilitating the flow of national visitors and economic operators. Uh, Indeed, the tourist size of uh, Godoria, Hugueva, uh, uh, and Sable Blanc present uh, high usual tourist uh, potentialities, uh, just like the regions of Rassian, which will be with Lac Abbe and the cities of the south. The next destination is served by Air Djibouti. For his part, the general directors of Air Djibouti said that this. Uh, inauguration ceremonies uh, honored by the presence of the prime ministers and the government delegation is uh, augurs a new era that ends a long absence uh, that uh, 20, uh, 29 years of absence uh, The prefect uh, and the president of the regional councils of the two regions uh, did not uh, hide uh, their joys uh, at so much uh, good news. Uh, all thanked in their intervention is the president of the republic for his policy of uh, that encouraged domestic uh, tourism and investment by facilitating the flow and movement of visitors and economic operators. Uh, For his part, the Minister of Transport, Mohammed Abdul Qadir Musa Halim, announced that uh, to Obok uh, that this ceremony brought together many officials, uh, local authorities, and a large population who expressed his joy for the reception of flights, uh, the return of flight, Air Djibouti in the region so will be a boom for people who will have uh, the opportunity to move uh, quickly between the capital and regions at regular hour. Air Djibouti returns thanks uh, to the will of the president who supported the returns of the company which had stopped the, its flights uh, in 2019. Uh, a new company was uh, created and we are spearheaded uh, in a staff training campaign and since uh, 2017 the direction is, is assured by Mr. Abdurrahman uh, 
Ali Abdullahi, the Minister of Transport, to ensure that flight to the regions will accelerate access to the regions and it will also be a vector of development, including the promotions of tourism. LGBT company has a long history. It created in 1963. For his part, the Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed saluted the excellent initiative of Al Djibouti, which accompanies the policy of decentralization desired by the President of the Republic. Thanks to these domestic services, the prospects of uh, economic development of the region and tourism are concretized. There. Note that the Prime Minister's uh, go over. Mr. Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed spoke at the ceremony of the first flight of Air Djibouti announcing the return of air shuttles to the regions. The Prime Minister thanked the entire population of Obok for the warm welcome given to the delegations that participate in the inaugural air flight Djibouti after several years of uh, absence. Uh, the week at the Council's meeting, we discussed the development situations in the region, and today the return of LGBT fly to Obok is an important sign uh, for the development, and the rest will follow. We have already built road infrastructure to open up uh, the far north and improve access to goods uh, and merchandise uh, by sea, and the boat uh, run twice uh, a week between Djibouti and Obo. The stars uh, are also available, but the returns of air flight will accelerate individual travel. People with the goods can still take the, the boat that runs twice uh, a week. In addition, last I uh, ask uh, the population of Obo to prepare to, re to welcome and support the numerous uh, pr project of development programs planned in the Obo region. Finally, the Prime Minister thank all the people who expressed their joy for the resumption of air links between Djibouti and Obo, which will now be regular. In the beginning of the year 2019, uh, Djibouti enters the great uh, arena of uh, world tourism. It is uh, in this objective that a large delegation of uh, 37 members of uh, China, mostly representative of uh, tower operator and other travelers from China, arrived in Djibouti today for a working visit of uh, 72 hours. Uh, listen to this report. Very so Chinese tourists have been welcomed today at Humbly International Airport by the Minister of Commerce and Tourism, Mr. Hassan Hamad Ibrahim, the Director General of National Office of Tourism, Mr. Osman Abdi, as well as the representatives of the Prime Minister and the Ambassador of Djibouti in China. They will travel during three days in the country to discover the most beautiful sites. The program includes visit to the La Asal Lake, the Gubet, the Rift Fall, and w as well as uh, Musha and Maskali Island, to name but a few. It's with great enthusiasm that they will discover Djibouti, as Mr. Mrs. Jessica Guyan, chief executive of the tower operator and a Chinese opera, has so well said. For he, Li Hu, chief executive officer of the company Touch Road, it's not his first time to Djibouti, but test as eager to discover the tourist side of the country. This visit of the Chinese tourism promoter place Djibouti in any case in pole position in, f in this fierce competition of the world tourism industry, but especially African, according to the Director General of the ONTD. The development of the national tourism has always been one of the fla flagship program of the government in that it offers employment opportunities to Djiboutian youth. The minister said that it was a real opportunity to have this representative of Chinese tourism companies who are in Djibouti to discover our wonderful sites. This delegation is composed of tourist promoters, representative of our operator and develop a press expert. These representatives of Chinese tourism companies will in turn present the potential and tourist attractions to Chinese investors. With a visit of 37 members, 
representative of major companies and tours operator of Chinese tourism, Djibouti entered the arena of the grade of forecutting a portion of global tourism. The Minister of uh, National Education and Vocational Training, Mustafa Mohamed Mahmoud, and the Chinese Ambassador to the Republic of Djibouti, Zhou Rui Chang, uh, attend this Thursday morning a ceremony of uh, reception of uh, equipment and the school furniture uh, at uh, Pika 13 schools. Uh, senior officials and officials at the men for Brazo, the military leaders of the logistics support base of uh, People's uh, Liberation Army of uh, China in Djibouti took part uh, in this uh, ceremony. The school's, prince, the school's uh, headmasters, students and teachers, as well as uh, the parents' committee gave a warm welcome to the officials during this colorful ceremony. The minister and the ambassador visit uh, the classrooms that were fully equipped with the new school furniture. This uh, equipment and the school furniture made up uh, of more than 300 benches table for students, but also teachers office offices and uh, blackboards were offered by the logistics support base of People's Republic. Uh, People's Liberation Army of China in Djibouti. This action is part of a commitment of Chinese military whose logistical support base adjacent to the schools so to sponsor the schools in a sustainable manner by providing maintenance activity, rehabilitations and equipment. The official launch of the process of uh, shaping the national cultures took place uh, this morning at the People's Palace. The aim is to strengthen the country cultures and heritage by essentially strengthening tangible and intangible heritage. The ceremony was uh, chaired by the Minister of uh, Muslim Affairs and Culture, charged with Mus Mr. Uh, Momin Hassan uh, Barre. The conference was moderated by the, by the cultural advisors uh, of the UNESCO regional office, uh, Ms. Uh, Caroline Monteuil. Also present were the Minister of National Education, Mustafa Mohamed Mahmoud, the Budget Minister, Bode Ahmed Roble, and President of the Regional Councils, uh, artists, and all directors and all the artistic actors of civil society. In his speech, the Minister of uh, Culture, Muslim Affairs and Culture, Mr. Mumin Hassan Barre, recalled the importance of uh, culture by its specially geostrategic position in confrontation with Arab culture, Indian, African, and European. For his part, the Minister of uh, Culture, Mumin Hassan Barre, said in his speech that Djibouti is located at the crossroad of three continents and it is the most cultural country around Africa and uh, the world. The Minister of uh, Culture, Mumin Hassan Barre, emphasized that this meeting is brought uh, together many artists and he thanked uh, the UNESCO for the tireless, tireless, tireless effort that have uh, made in the country for establishment of the cultural potentiality. A closing uh, training ceremony was held uh, this morning at the National Public and Administrative Institute. This training consists of the basic tools of strategy chaired by the Secretary General of the Ministry of Labor, Mr. Abdullah Ali Mohammed, and the Director of INAP, Mr. Sharma Kedrus Ali. This workshop was delivered by a national trainers and benefit from this training representative of public uh, institution. The purpose of this training was to strengthen the skills of uh, know-how of the participant in order to provide statistical data for to the government. At the end of the ceremony, the leaders handed the participant the certificate of participation. Uh, for in a word delivered by the Secretary General Mr. Abdullah Ali Mohammed, uh, reminded that uh, this training aimed to enhance uh, the knowledge of participants in the statistical file. 
the Brigadier General uh, Tahir Ali Mohammed, Chief of the Defense Staff, uh, received this Thursday, January 23, 2019. So, in the offices of the Chief General Staff of the Armed Forces at the General Armed Forces, uh, Jean Francois Hogar, Inspector General of uh, the Land Forces, uh, Agatha, accompanied by his staff on a mission to Djibouti. Upon his arrival, General Jean Francois Hogar was greeted by the Chief of the Defense Staff, uh, General uh, Tahir Ali Mohammed, after the friendly greetings. General Francois Jean Francois Hogar in the presence in the presence of uh, General Tahir Ali Mohammed attended traditional picket uh, where soldiers of the regiment headquarters uh, skillfully trained for the occasion paid him the honors. Uh, once uh, the honors, the two generals and the delegation composed of Jibutian and French officials uh, settled in the offices of the Chief of General. A staff of the armed forces during the meeting, Brigadier General Tahir Ali Mohammed uh, was assisted by Colonel Mohammed Elmi Habani, head of the FAD Operations Division Commander, Yunis uh, Elmi Wais, Chief of the Staff of Semga, Captain Hussein uh, Idris uh, Ege, Chief of the Staff of the General Tahir Ali Mohammed, and Captain Mohammed Ahmed Yusuf, head of the Information and Communication System, Army Press Officer. Uh, the visit of uh, General Jean Francois Hogar is part is part of a uh, friendly and fraternal relations between Djibouti and French, and more particularly between the two armies. Uh, General Tahir Ali Mohammed, and on behalf of the Chief of the General Staff of the Armed Forces, uh, General Zakaria Sheikh Ibrahim, welcome Djibouti, land of meetings and exchanges, to General Jean Francois Hogar for the. For this courtesy visit, uh, Tahir Ali Mohammed said he was honored to have uh, with us today, and he, his delegation is uh, within the general staff of the armed forces. Uh, this uh, testifies uh, to the particular attachment between uh, the two countries' relations uh, that must be consolidated further. On the day of uh, January 22. 22, 2019, uh, Colonel Wise Omar Bore, commanders of the Coast Guard, welcome to the General De Directorate of uh, Coast Guard Administrations located at uh, Mr. Uh, Hideck Yamaji, directors of the Maritime Safety of the Minister of Foreign, of Foreign Affairs of Japan. Mr. Hideki Yanachi was received by owners at the de General Directorate of Coast Guard Administration. During his visit, he was able to benefit uh, from a presentation by the Coast Guard, and more specifically, for his varied missions aimed to at ensuring the security of Djibouti's maritime file and the various uh, operations carried out by the Djibouti Coast Guard. The visitors uh, re reiterate uh, the commitment of the Japanese people, brother and countries uh, and friend of the Republic of Djibouti in the collaborations and cooperations in the file of uh, security and maritime security. He also congratulates uh, Colonel Valsamar Borre, commanders of the Coast Guard, for his uh, honorable work done in a space of time to develop uh, the, cost, uh, the Djiboutian Coast Guard. Under the aegis of the Djiboutian uh, Football Federation, the Football Committee of the Djiboutian Federation is, has launched the first tournament uh, in the history of Djibouti indoor football. The kickoff of this tournament was given by the president of the Djiboutian Federation of Football, Mr. Suleiman Hassan Wabiri, and so the participation is of the heads of football federation. A team participate in this tournament, and the first ma the first match opposed the team of uh, Exim Bank against the club of Samatar Group, uh, and the latter won uh, the victory by uh, defeating his opponents by four goals to zero. In a brief statement to the press, Mr. Uh, Suleiman uh, Hassan uh, said uh, that uh, this he said that this tournament, uh, the first of its kind in our country, is one of the many football initiatives implemented by the federations. Uh, for the international scene, Russia and Turkey plan to cooperate in Syria summit meeting between uh, two key actors of the Syrian conflict. Uh, the Russian President Vladimir Putin 
on, on, on one side the Turkish uh, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, uh, on the other side uh, the two leaders agreed on Wednesday in Moscow to coordinate file operations, uh, a breakthrough what that comes after the United States uh, decided in December must uh, much to the surprises to phase out uh, their 2,000 committee troops in Syria. The Turkish president also sought uh, to convince uh, his Russian counterpart to set up uh, a security zone in northern Syria to prevent uh, any Kurdish uh, autonomy. The fear of Ankara that such an uh, auto autonomist uh, scenario gives uh, give us new idea for the Kurd living in Turkish territory. This is it uh, for the news. Thanks for watching us.